Beautiful. Well, folks, dumping rain out. It's never a nice day whenever we do this. We're going up to Moosehead again this year for our annual trip. And it's a sloppy, wet mess as usual. So just uh, stopped at Wild Things Bait in Oakland. Uh, Scott hooked me up with some bait. And uh, we're going to go pick up Josh now, grab him and his sled. And then we're going to meet the boys up at camp. So stay tuned for this. Should be a good weekend. Should be some uh, nice fish on camera for you. Get you guys in a little bit. Like a glove. Friggin' beautiful marinin. Yesterday I marked this spot. <clears throat> this is about a 50 foot flat basically in here. There's a hump right here that goes up to 35 feet. So I'm gonna set a trap right near that hump and work my way back towards shore, dropping down into the 50 and then back up into the 20s. See if we can get some cruising lakers. We were out here yesterday fishing, way back in there because we couldn't make it out this far. And the ice conditions are way better than yesterday. Way better. Take a look. Freaking Mayan. Yeah! <laughs> Holy! We're gonna see if we're at about 35 feet of water. Drop down our sounder. And then what we do is we take our Everett Lures line marker, mark our line about a foot off bottom, put my line marker on there. And these help so when you do catch a fish, you can reel up your line and reset it to the same depth every time so you don't have to do this every single time. We get uh, smelts today, boys. Just gonna skin hook them. And we know that our bait is a foot off bottom when we reel up to that line marker. You can buy those right on everettlures.com. And boom. There she be. We got kind of a side bet going. We are up here for the Togue Derby, or Lake Trout Derby, but uh, we got a side bet for the biggest cusk and the biggest perch. And whoever gets those wins the money that we put in, five bucks a piece, and a Yeti cup that's engraved on it. So. Maybe we'll get one of those boys. Be pretty sweet. Well boys, camera just shut off on me, but we looks like we got ourselves a rubber boot cask. Look at that! Look at the size of them! <laughs> this one's smitten this time. Nope, oh, trout. Okay. I'm not going to even bother to take him out of the hole. I'm just going to try to pop the hook right out. Let him go. See you, bud. Boom. Then you have to touch him. Send it. What do you got? A little trout. Oh, lake trout. Small one. Just a little guy. Like that's the biggest one. The other one I had was smaller than that. <sighs> We're not doing too good out here, boys. We're doing better than yesterday, but pretty slow. Yeah, this has got to be a perch. No, it's another freaking tiny lake trout. Tiny.
This one isn't that bad of a fish. Better one. Not great. No. It is not 18 inches. Nice little lake trail. Oh, yeah. You got him. Come on. Not that big. Yeah, small. He's small. Holy cow. Not a little guy. Yeah. Nice little guy. He's probably 15 inches. Smaller one. Yeah. Not real big. Oh, barely hooked. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> I take him. <sighs> it's a late job. <laughs> That one. Oh. It looks just like the last yeah, one. Yeah, In my experience today, the ones that have been spinning were trout, the ones that weren't spinning. Oh. I don't know. A cast. Yeah, there's something on it, but it ain't much. Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smallest cask I've ever seen in my I'm life. Use him for fucking bait. Josh, look at the size of this cask. Five-inch cask. I'm six inches. It ain't very big. I'm dying right now. I'm smoking. What the hell are you doing? That's horrible. No. What was he doing way down there? I don't know. That's how sportsmen do it. Yeah. Clip the salmon off. There he goes. Greg and right, right next to the shore. Got him. Oh, Got him. Oh it? man. She's fighting like a <laughs> That's a nice one though. <laughs> we can see him and I know. Whoa. Going all around the hole. Yep. It's a lake trout. I just don't want to lose them at the hole again. Yeah. Oh shit. See? Yeah. He could be big. It, it was, I think it might be bigger than that 19 one I got yesterday. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, but. Yeah. Nope. It's fat, but fatter. 19 and a half. Go in the sun. There he goes. There we get another salmon. A little one. Sweet. That's a real good looking female fish right there. Boom. There he goes. He took off like a rocket. Folks, last flag of the night. So, because it's so cold out, if I can help it, I'm leaving these fish right in the hole. The release is a lot, a lot better. This guy's already bleeding from the incredible hook set that I gave him.
Times the award ceremony. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it back home. Man, that was one of the toughest weekends we've had up there so far. I mean, I caught a lot of fish, but they were all tiny. I mean, they're all, there was, there was nothing over 20 inches. The biggest lake trout that we got was 19 and a half inches. I got two of them in two different days. And I don't know, usually we get like a mid 20 inch fish at least. Um, and didn't happen. We caught a lot of really small fish. I'm talking like six to 12 inch lake trout. I, I don't know what the heck was going on. But anyways, we had a pool going for the biggest cusk and the biggest lake trout. I ended up winning both. And this was one of the prizes here. It's a Yeti Rambler. Uh, my buddy Cody tossed that in to sweeten the pot a little bit. Uh, one was for cusk or burbot, and the other one was for lake trout. And then it won like 60 bucks that we all pulled in together. So, yeah, whatever. Can't complain about that. So anyways, uh, you guys, thanks for watching. I know it probably wasn't the best, like, quality fish video out there that we've done, but uh, hey, gotta work with what you got. So thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one.